Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another palettes we all forgot about video. This one is going to be on a Tarte palette that came out over the summer. It's the Tarte High Tides and Good Vibes palette. It has like little like liquid in it and it kind of goes back and forth. Really cute, this really fits Tarte's aesthetic and I really wanted to show it to you all. So before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload five days a week, Monday through Friday, and I'd love to have you come join. Give me a thumbs up, ring the bell, because once we hit 250 subscribers, we're gonna be doing a giveaway. So subscribe for that, give me a thumbs up, and let's go ahead and get started. So this palette retails for I think $39, has a very nice mirror in it. Um, it goes with their Rainforest of the Sea kind of vibe. There are 12 shades in here, 8 eyeshadows, and 4 glitters, and this is something that Tarte really hasn't done before. So you get some neutrals, but then you get some blues, and it's a really nice mix. So I'm going to go over in sections, so like the neutral section is Buried Gold, Aloha Beaches, Beach Therapy, and Galapagos. The blue coral side is South Beach, Surf's Up, Deep Blue, and dive in. The glitters are Beach Days, Champagne Beach, Aquaholic, and Turtleette. I am definitely going to be doing a look with these really cool glitters. I am so excited. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. Also, I cut my hair. It's like six inches shorter. It doesn't look like a lot shorter, but like for me it is because, you know, six inches is, is a lot. So Let's go ahead and get started. I'm really excited. I also have already primed my eyes with MAC Painterly Paint Pot. It is deeper on my skin tone just because I'm very fair, if you haven't noticed. Um, I really want to play with some blues, but I really want to play with some glitter. I think this is a really nice palette. You know, this came out, it was all the craze. They did like a brand trip with it, and then they never talked about it again. What the heck? Like this isn't even like hyped up anymore. I think this is even on sale at Sephora. So if it is, someone let me know. So I'm gonna go into the shade Beach Therapy, which is this nice beigey nude. And I am just going to buff this in my crease. This is a palette that I honestly don't reach for. And oh, I never went on the point of this video. So this is a series that I have. Um, if you're new, um, this is a series that I have that just kind of goes over palettes that came out and they were really hyped up and then they just got almost forgotten about. And I have a whole series and I think I've done like four or five videos and it's really great. So I'll have the series linked down below for you. Okay, I'm going to go into the shade Aloha Beaches, which is this one. Just going to warm it up a bit. Usually Tarte's eyeshadows blend really nicely, and so this one is what I'm noticing. It's blending really well. Okay, so there it is, kind of blended out. I used an LMR Cosmetics brush. I got this in a BoxyCharm. Oh, do I have a story for you about BoxyCharm? <laughs> I'll save that for another day. But... <sighs> Let's see. I would like to go in. Let's see. <laughs> I'd love to use some of this turquoise right here. It's a really nice one. I think I'm going to put that on the inner corner, actually. I like that idea. So I want to go with like a firmer brush. I think I'm going to just use, I've used this before, but don't. Don't mind me. This is the mini angled brush from Luxie, and I'm gonna go in with Dive In. It's just a nice a deep steel blue color. I'm just gonna attempt to deepen up my outer corner. I have noticed with this palette that it's a little difficult to work with, like with some of the deeper shit, like the blues. I'll do a little bit of that. I'm getting a ton of fallout. Oh my god. Well, this is kind of like a metallic y type shade. So I guess it's understandable, but at the same time, it's like, oh my god. Where did I put my brush? 
I'm just going to take a clean brush and just blend this out. Okay, so I, I'll tell you about the BoxyCharm story, actually. So, I have been a loyal subscriber of BoxyCharm for over two years. I'm going to go back into Aloha Beaches. I'm going to be cutting in and kind of telling you what I'm doing. I'm going to build this back up a bit. But I have been a very loyal customer. You know, I recommend them to everybody I know. I really like them. And... I got charged for two boxes. I got charged for Boxy Premium and Boxy Lux. I was expecting to just do Boxy Lux, and um, I got charged for both. I emailed them for customer service. I waited five days, and I got nothing. I commented on one of their social media pages, and I said, I would appreciate, ooh, I know I got like a blue tinge on my face, great. I said, I would appreciate some customer service here. I'm having issues, I need a phone number to call. They don't have a phone number to call and I think that is utterly ridiculous. I think any customer service, any business needs a phone number for somebody to call. Amazon is completely online but they have a phone number for you to call, you know? And so I was just, I was really pissed and they said, oh check your DMs and they said what's going on and I messaged, didn't reply. Two days later, message again, didn't reply. I commented again and I said, are you gonna help me or not? And then they said, hey love, we're trying to fix this for you. Like, give me your email address. And again, my email address was under. And so I'm gonna get two boxes this month. And the fact that I have to beg them for help for customer service is not okay. And I, so I'm taking uh, suggestions for new subscription boxes. Boxes. I would love, I don't, I want full size products like BoxyCharm does, but I just, I don't, I'm very torn right now. I don't know if I can support a business that won't help its customers and I've noticed that with a lot of people who come who have BoxyCharm, I see their Instagram posts and everybody is like, where, hello, you know, I didn't get my box or they, you know, they don't, they don't respond to their customers and I really cannot stand behind that and if, I would not recommend them, honestly. At this point, I think I'm going to have to think about it for a while but like, I was an extra $35 charge to my account and I have bills. You know, I don't have just extra $35 hanging around right now to just say, oh yeah, let's do two boxy charms. Like, I don't have that. And so when I have somebody, a company that is doing this, it's not okay. And so if you have any good suggestions for me, I would really appreciate it. It would mean a lot to me. Um, I'm just really upset. Um, they won't reply to any of my comments that I've left on their posts. They won't respond to emails. They won't respond to the DM to my DMs. I could even post my screenshots in a future video. Utterly, I find it ridiculous, and it's really aggravating. So, yeah, I'll keep you updated on what happens. But I'm gonna try messaging them again tonight. A very terrible thing that a company does, in my opinion. If I were owner of that company, I'd have a freaking customer service phone, phone line up right, right away. Because reading about all the issues that they're having, you know, with crushed palettes, you know, like, you didn't send my boxy pop-up thing in my box. You know, you, you guys charged me twice, I don't know. That kind of stuff, people, they aren't responding to. But when somebody gives a good comment, like, oh, I love you guys, they are quick to respond. So it really get, shows a lot about their customer service and really I don't appreciate it. So we might be doing going without BoxyCharm boxes in the future. I don't know. I'm going to have to let you know. So on the lower lash line, I think I'm going to put a little more of Aloha Beaches. <laughs> so is that one right there. Just going in with a pencil brush and buffing that in. But yeah, like, let me know. What will you guys do in this situation? Like, I love hearing from you, so let me know, because I'm, I'm really, I'm torn. If you were me, would you support the brand again, or would you move on? Just let me know. I'd like to do some glitter up here. I think I'm going to go with, oh, I'd like to do some blue glitter just for the heck of it. Should I do it? I might look funny. Oh well. I'm gonna go in with a bit of NYX glitter glue. 
also for the past couple months, but I haven't really been impressed with BoxyCharm in the first place. So, like, I don't know. Maybe this is a chance for me to save some money, put towards new products. I don't know. Let me know what you want to see. Patting some on my eyes. Working quickly. I'm gonna definitely use my fingers. I'm gonna go in with Aquaholic, which is the blue glitter. This doesn't have too much of a gel base. Um, I have used this before um, without glitter glue and I got a ton of fallout and I wish I was kidding. But this is a new formula for Tarte and so maybe you know they can release it in future palettes and improve upon it. Oh my god, that fallout just like gave me a whole thing of blue on my face. Blue glitter. Woo, I feel really crazy right now. I'm gonna go in with just a flat brush. I wouldn't take make the most out of this palette. So I'm gonna take Surf's Up, which is the turquoise that we talked about earlier. I'm gonna get some of that on a brush and put it on the inner corner. I really think it's cool when people put pops of color on the inner part, inner corner. It just looks so cool and unexpected because everyone is expecting to see like a white um, with or without shimmer. They're just expecting to see brightness. And when instead you see this, it's fun. And I'm a little orange right now. Why? There's not really like a deep matte color. Um, the blues are all going to be kind of like a satiny, almost metallic kind of finish to them. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to take another brush. I'm going to wet it. I'm going to go into Buried Gold, which is this one. I'm just going to place this along the lower lash line. And kind of just blend it in a bit. I really like this palette. I don't know why nobody talks about it. I think Tati featured it in a video, but like, didn't do anything else. Interesting look, to say the least, am I right? So for lips, I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Disney Designer lipstick in the shade Ariel. Look at mine. It's like, has like these bubbles in it or like holes in it. I don't understand. What's that? Is this like a Jaclyn Hill lipstick thing? Like, what's going on? This is a beautiful formula though, don't get me wrong. A nice nude lip to complement the blue. And for lips, I'm gonna go in. I do want it to be kind of fun. I was gonna do this, but I'm gonna go in with this shade. This is the Peppermint Bark Hygiene Sparkling Lip Gloss from Too Faced. Nothing annoys me more when I get lipstick on my lip gloss applicator. I don't know, can anybody relate to that? It's so annoying. Mascara, I'm gonna go in Tarte theme here. We're gonna use the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I don't even think I'm gonna do eyeliner tonight. I don't know. I'd like the glitter just to be the main show. And my hair is kinda crazy. It's the end of the day. One little look. I like this. I don't know. What do you think? It's just different. And that's what I like about it. I like that it's different. All right. So that is it for today's video. Wow. Okay. So I will have all the makeup that I'm wearing on my face um, listed in the description box. I do that every single video. So go ahead and check that out. I will also have this playlist listed for my palettes that we all forgot about series that'll be listed down below linked down below as well also my instagram follow my instagram i post a lot on there and i'd love to have you come see or whatnot i don't know how to follow me follow me on instagram yeah maybe i'll do a, a special giveaway on there Ooh, if you want to go follow me on there i'm gonna have a special giveaway so yeah that is it for today's video um, what else? Let me know what you do about the BoxyCharm situation. Would you, would you continue supporting them or would you say, screw it, I'm going to find somebody else 
and do that. So let me know. I'd love to continue with BoxyCharm just because it's a really cool box with really cool products. But again, I don't know. It just, something does not sit right with me with this. So I'd love to have your feedback here. Um, other than that, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye!